In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rental, how to input an estimated return date, and then how to view this information so you have an idea of when a certain product will be back in uh, stock for rent. So the first thing we need to do here is create a rental. We go to Rental Info, enter a new rental. You can also edit any existing rentals with this information if you'd like to kick this in. First thing we do is select a customer. And then the area that we're going to be using today is called estimated return date. If you use this, you can kind of get an idea of when this equipment will be back in stock so you can re-rent it to someone else who maybe is on the phone today but needs it in a month. You'll know what's available. So first thing is I'm going to go ahead and say this equipment will be back on the 24th of April. And I'm going to go ahead and select a couple line items here. If you have your rental inventory set up, you can select an item with a serial number. However, you do not have to have items with serial numbers. You can just select regular items. So now that I have this estimated return date in here, I'm going to go ahead and click close on the rental. And let's say you get a call and you need to know what's available or when something will be back in stock or where the equipment is. You can go to rental info, items currently rented, and right here on the screen, there's the rental that I just made for Brazil. You'll notice that it has a serial number. And this column here, well, first of all, it tells you who it's rented to. So if you need to know who has it, that's who's got the equipment. There's a the serial number item that I added. And here's your estimated return date. So if somebody's on the phone and they want this exact piece of equipment, you can say, yep, you can have it on the 25th of April. And that's how you do that.